Hi, I'm your host. Welcome back to the Round Table. And today I'll be doing an on-the-spot review, which basically is I just heard something. I'm putting it quickly together as fast as I can. Unexpected review. This one being Alan Parsons from the New World. Uh, anybody knows, remembers, I in the Sky, I Robot from the uh, 80s, um, the Alan Parsons Project. This is the one member that has uh, remaining, Alan Parsons himself. Um, has a new album out. I just stumbled upon this as I was listening to other things and um, listened to it very quickly. And I, I can't believe how much I enjoy this. It's very laid back. It's a mix of progressive rock, classic rock, symphony. Um, and anybody who knows this guy knows this guy is a master in the studio. And he, he's been, he's 72, 73 years old. And in his first credits, album credits, working on an album, is The Beatles, Abbey Road. And I believe the next, one of the other ones is Dark Side of the Moon. So this guy knows his stuff. Now, speaking of Pink Floyd, the album does remind me a bit of Pink Floyd, but maybe latter day, more of the Division Bells era, I would think. There's, there's touches of that on this album. So if you like Pink Floyd, this might be an album for you. Uh, if you like... Alan Parsons project. This is definitely an album for you. I, I was not a huge fan. I, I liked some of their singles. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest diehard fan. I don't know everything about them, but I do like a couple of their tracks and I respect their, uh, their ingenuity, their, 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 their singles, the way they were, they worked around the studio. They were phenomenal in that. And Alan Parsons continues. This is a pristine sounding album, but yet the song songs sound organic and there are 11 songs in total. Uh, Tommy Shaw plays on it. He has a couple of friends on here. Uh, Tommy Shaw plays on Ouroboros, if I'm pronouncing that right, which is a great track. There's um, Give Them My Love and I Won't Be Led Astray, who features, um, oh, I see, I didn't write down their names, David Pack and James Durbin. One is from American Idol, and one is from the group Ambrosia, if I'm saying that correctly. Like I said, this is on the spot, so all the information is jumbled. Uh, but bottom line, if you're looking for a nice album to relax to on a Sunday morning, you know what I mean? You sit on the gallery on your porch, watching the sun, collecting your thoughts. This is one of those albums, I think, that's really going to put you in a good state of, uh, state of mind of just being really relaxed and being well. Um, I enjoyed it much more than I thought I would. I had no expectations because I didn't even know it was out, to be honest. I, I just stumbled upon it this evening, but I like it. Um, let's see, Fare Thee Well, the opening track is the one I like. Ouroboros with Tommy Shaw, Give Them My Love, I Won't Be Led Astray, You Are The Light, and The Run nets if i'm saying them correct if that's it's an old song from the 60s be my baby be my be my baby that ends the album it's a very interesting choice but great song he kept it uh, quite true to the original um but it works bottom line it's a nice album to sit back and relax to and if you're looking for something like that then from the new world from Alan Parson is going to do the trick. So this is one of those classic rock bands that done it right. And I really like this album. Let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear from you. And remember, this is on the spot, so some of my information might be tad incorrect. So forgive me. I just heard it and just writing this as fast as I can. But nonetheless, as I, this was a pleasant surprise. I liked it. I hope you like it too. Again, Hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know what you think of this album. This is Steve from the Roundtable, wishing you well, and signing off.